Hey guys, Zep Productions here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm taking a look at the LG Gram 14, which is supposed to be the world's lightest laptop. So pretty bold claim. We're going to be unboxing this and reviewing this to see if it really is that light and if it's worth it and do they sacrifice on build quality. I got this for a very good deal at Costco for $500 off and it was $699 initially being $1099. Here's the box. Very nice, sleek, and elegant. Just a black box with some chrome lettering that's shiny. I like it. Pretty minimalistic. I should also mention that the Costco deal is no longer going on, unfortunately, but I will leave an Amazon link in the description below if you guys are interested. Amazon and Costco should be the same price now. There's a laptop on the front. We can take that out. And here is the charger, charging cable, and brick. This just plugs into the brick and the other side plugs into the wall. Here's the charging brick with the USB Type-C cable at the end, which is really convenient because you can charge this with the same thing that you charge most of your other devices with. Here's the laptop itself. It's inside this little fabric casing. There's a G on here for Graham. Pulling it out, there's the laptop itself. It has the shiny little cover on the top. I like the look of this laptop. It's pretty minimalistic and sleek, and first impressions, it is pretty lightweight. I have a MacBook Pro 13-inch, and it's similar to the same weight as that. Here's the side, you have an HDMI, two Thunderbolt slash USB Type-C ports, headphone jack, USB 3.0, Kensington lock, and your micro SD. Here you have the little pull tab to open the laptop up. Here's the back. And let's see if you can open it up with one hand, which you can. And that's a pretty important thing about a laptop, especially one that's light, that it's uh, mismatched at the bottom, so you can't really lift it up with one hand. Not the case with this. There's a little cover with a 4 on it. Here's the laptop inside. Here's a look at the keyboard. Very nice, sleek, and elegant. Not too much going on. Not winning any awards for the craziest laptop of the year. But nice and simple. There's a power button, and the power button also translate as a fingerprint sensor. And I'll just let this play so you guys can see how long it takes to boot up for the first time. While this is booting up, let me go over some of the specs. 14 inch display, which is 1920 by 1200. It is an IPS LCD. And we have a backlit keyboard, fingerprint reader, Wi Fi 6E, Windows 11 Home, and an Intel Evo i7 processor, which is the 12th generation. 512 gigabyte SSD and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And it doesn't take very long to boot up for the first time. Then you can just set it up from here. Pretty nice screen. It is uh, matte and anti-glare uh, reflective as you can see. Not the best screen on a laptop, but it is pretty nice. And that is the highest brightness. Overall, I like this laptop. It's not the most durable. The hinge is a little bit flimsy, uh, but that does come with it being lightweight. I think it's a pretty good laptop, and it should stand the test of time. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Thank you, and have a nice day.